Hello everyone, welcome to a new series on this channel. Finally, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally starting. This is on the Switch, so I do have the road to Boruto. That's part of this. But... What is the plan for this series? Well, I'm only going to be doing the main story, the Boruto side story, the DLC, the Boruto DLC story, and that's it. I'm not going for S ranks, I'm not going for A ranks. I will try and get all the bonuses, but I will try and get all the secret endings. That's fine. Uh, I agree. Agree, don't care. But first, free battle, because there's been a few changes. Let's go to practice. We'll go team match. Okay, so let's I'll first pick Noah, go with Naruto, Sasuke, and yeah, because we'll need Sakura for the new assist. And we'll just randomize. Randomize as well. It doesn't matter. So, begin. What's changed? Well, we still dash about with the jump button and turn around. Still fire chakra, shuriken, not chakra. We still fire chakra shuriken. shuriken. Regular attacks, charge, and our aims are a bit different because our top button is a charge attack for brace scars. And if we press not that what button is it? What one combination is it? I think it's is it garden Y? Yeah Garden Y is effectively a counter. Which is kinda cool. Once again guard and A is attack. We've got our shot our jutsu. However, the biggest change is if I flick the right stick left, I'm now playing Sasuke. So it allows me to do stuff like this, comboing in to other characters, which is really cool. I can switch even when the gauge is not full. And there's one of the next changes armor break. Weapon and armor break is a new thing. Decrease means you take more. Armor break means you lose armor defense, but you also gain more power. A smaller addition is to pull your chakra dash. Straight back still. Now if we charge, Sakura helps us charge up. So let's waste all these. 
And watch how faster it goes. So much faster. I like this change. Now, practice menu. Let's put you at normal. Support gauge, unlimited. Yeah, we'll put you unlimited. Unlimited. Custom damage on, because I like that. Now, we can do this, we charge, everyone gets awakened. One of the biggest changes is it allows you to switch and use awakened Jutsu as support. There are some other cool things about it, like for instance, Like for instance, the fact that we can just keep spamming them. And certain duos can actually combine into new jutsu. Combine into new jutsu and all that. Now, I believe if we try, I believe these three have combination jutsu, which is also new. Nothing quite. Yeah, it just changes how your ultimates are, which is kind of cool. Let me show you some of my favorites. Might, might not. I definitely have to show one though. So, turn to character select. So we're gonna at least show that one. Uh, don't have a set because I'm not playing my personal file. Yeah, the Katsuki file. Uh, we'll play Deidara, Sori, and Itachi. I really want to show how absurd it is. Okay, now we might as well. Actually, do we have. No, we don't, because they took away that. Okay, we'll just have to see. Oh my god, I'm trying to weaken him a bit. Absurd. Of 
course, one big change we're never going to see is Itachi and... Oh, what's his name again? I keep forgetting. Probably I should just look, look it up. Look him up, just to see. Nope. I think it's funny as I actually got... Dachi... Yeah, we've got all versions of Sasuke, except for one. Do we not have them unlocked? Is she sweet? That's what his name is. Because we have Obito, which we'll get to later. Either I'm blind or we don't have she sweet, which is a little sad. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Which is weird. Because we have Mecha Naruto, which... Uh, yeah, he's from Revolution. And it became a thing in the anime, apparently. Which I kind of find a little funny. But yeah, I can't show his one and I can't show anyone else's. So, the regular system you're used to no longer exists. I guess I could show... Zabza and Hawkers. Because this is my favourite. It's just a nice one. Oh yeah, there's also one more thing I can actually show of this. But I will at least first show Because there is one more change to Awakening. Here I go. There we go. I like it. Kisame. But Zapza, he doesn't have his uh, jutsu on top, but now it's on bottom. So anyone who has unique abilities now, now come at the bottom, which is really cool. Oh, there's one more. I just realized I should show. But, yeah. Sorry for those who want Zetsu, maybe Connections. I hope that in Connections, Zabza, not Zabza, uh, Zetsu becomes a thing. But let's focus on... Let's focus on these, because DLC did add in something really cool. which doesn't change anything just to show the all the changes it just changes the ending cut-in if we've bought it I don't have it because I'm using a new file And 
does change your substitution. I believe that's it. Computer presets. There's leaks. Let's say this is the settings. Then we set, set participating characters and set them loose. Interesting, but not cool. Versus Torment. Yeah, once again. It's just a tournament. Survival, however, is slightly different. There is two different survivals, Ultimate Survival and Ability Cat Survival, which is interesting. Both of them are actually kind of fun once you got into the game much better, but yeah. We'll go online, but... Onla actually, we do have to talk about my online slightly. Oh, we can't actually, can we? Oh, that means we can't enter the shop. Oh, that's sad. Oh no, we can't, it's in collection. I keep thinking because they change it every game. General Store Bandai has, I believe, info cards, finished cutting images. This is where we want to get in, which is, as you can see, there are a lot. I'm not even scratching it, and some of them have to be unlocked before we can get them. Because we have to unlock the characters. I'm not going to show anymore. Matching voice. I don't know what these are connected to, other than the characters. Oh, and we also did spoil one thing. But I don't know exactly where. Substitution items. I love some of these because they're great. Uh, oh, we have to unlock some some of them though, so we don't get some of the dumber ones. Titles. Info card skins. We unlock more. Pictures. Once again, there's a lot. Mostly anime. So. Okay, this is where you listen on them. Title. I don't believe we've got anything other than the defaults. Yeah, we only have defaults. Boruto's Tale. An adventure is different from the story. Just to show. I'm not going to go into these. We have three characters. Each of them are small in their own world stories and they're not two in your face. They're all interesting though. I think the most interesting is Gara. Gara's one. I almost said Gara Bonds of the Sand Sea. It's Gara the Sand Bonds of the Sand Sea. But Gara's is the most interesting because it closes an arc that is interesting because it wasn't exactly there but there was just something almost there. And Chikamaru is, is just... It's great. It's great. But we won't be doing that. We'll be doing story. Alright. The top part is just... Giving us data on the in-universe stuff and what's going on in online. So... I don't know if it will just jump us in immediately, but if it does, that's fine, because this is because the first mission is quite short. Okay, it is. It's just telling us about secret factors, and I'm fine with that.
Behold, this scroll without a name. Within it is recounted an as yet unfinished tale. If thy heart be drawn to its contents, take up the scroll and unfurl its aged parchment. I see thou art keen to know more. In that case, allow me to spin for thee a yarn. A tale spanning the history of the ninja. story of a never-ending chain of battles. See with one after actions, we'll get to see that. Acquire a sword and destroy Madara's weapon. Typical one hundred percent health. My heart Blunt old thing again. Now Take this. Weapon break. Weapon break is something that's mainly in the story. It's rarely used outside of it. So don't expect to see it much outside of boss fights. This is after image. Thank you.
Tailed beast in Susano. I would say we're both plenty warmed up, wouldn't you? Indeed. Prepare to fight. <laughs> Those goofy faces. And let's move on. Let's go. Nice punch. Charge up. Dodge. But this isn't over.
think for the first battle, I understand why I would uh, layers after I shoot. There isn't even a consequence. You don't lose health. You leave me no choice. Sajon! Wood style! Shinsu Senshu Veritable Thousand Arm Kanan! Battle will never end. But still the ninja keep up the fight. They fight for what they believe in, to follow their own true path. And I believe we got a ton of view. Second one. Yep, next to everything. <sighs> yeah. Dome. Yeah, we unlock chapter preview. And so time passed, but the cycle of battle never ended. And as the violence of the ninja world continued to grow more severe, two shadows walked down a path. What will they find? And what new path will it lead them toward? In the next chapter, two unparalleled warriors. The world is going to end, end here. here. And I'm going to give my correct criticism about this game. The game doesn't hide any of its spoilers. And its next chapter previews are awful. We'll first, go through behind the mask and try and... We'll do, I think... Three missions of Naruto's depends on how quickly we go through. Then episode after 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 I don't know why I said don't know why I said after or twice. Ugh. And after that we'll just go to Sasuke and we'll alternate. Until they come together again. So that's how we do it. So next time We'll be doing Behind the Mask, the Yang Path, then the Yin Path. See you guys then. Zinezuma, signing out.